So I know you've probably seen a ton of these, but I've decided that, you know, hey, while I'm waiting on my anvil stand to be complete, which is taking way longer than I wanted it to be, but that's not important. So I decided to do this uh, non-blacksmithing project and you know, it, it kind of was like fun and you know, who hasn't done it? So I decided to uh, add my name to the list of people who've modified baseball bats. Only, I'm hoping mine's a bit different since I'm not just shoving spice through it or wrapping barbed wire around it. I'm also gonna weld things to it. Anyway, to start off this project, we're gonna get a baseball bat. I don't know, I don't think there's anything special about this. I got it out of an old school that had been shut down and then sold and turned into a really, really terrible restaurant that looked like the scene of a horror movie several months later when I got this. Not important. But anyway, I'm also going to weld some uh, 3 16 by, what is this, 3 quarter inch? Yes, yeah, 3 quarter inch flat bar. I'm going to drape it around the top and going down, and then I'll have some rings going around it. Then I'm going to take these 10 inch nails, sharpen up the tips, cut them up, sharpen those in the tips, weld them onto the steel to where I'll probably have a group of probably three going this way, 90 degrees, another three, one on the top, and then I'll probably in between those, I'll probably put a couple to offset it. Then I'm going to wrap the whole thing in barbed wire and I might add grip tape to that and burn the whole thing because that looked really cool. To start with, I'm gonna sand off the clear coat on here. I'm gonna do this because I wanna burn it. Possibly stain it, probably won't though. Okay, I know I'm not gonna stain it, forget I mentioned that. You could stain it if you want to, but I'm gonna sand this off so that way I can burn it and then linseed oil it, which I like a lot better than whatever's on here. Not necessary, but I think it looks cooler. So I measured how far down the bat I want my steel to go, and it's ten and a half inches for me. That's just a personal preference. I'd say do do it however you want, but I just marked it with a file. So what I'm gonna do is from there, from that mark, I'm gonna kind of dish out so it goes over the top here. I would just bend it, but since this isn't a flat surface, I'm gonna take it over to my uh, dishing stump, which. Currently has a improvised throwing knife sticking at it. Ignore that, it's not important. But then I'm gonna dish it out here to where it fits over that. And I'm gonna fold both sides, which this side I will mark. Sorry, point out. This side I will mark after I have it dished out and fits. So that way it fits snugly on the top here. Okay, now that we have one made, I'm gonna make another one that goes this way, and I'm just gonna have to where it overlaps over top, so it'll be just a little bit longer, and won't quite have as much of a bend there. By the way they were going, I couldn't quite get it to fit the way I want to, so I just ended up cutting it, and I'm just going to uh, weld it on both sides about like that, and then I'm just gonna weld on my spikes from there. On here, I just weld them together, didn't film that because I don't want to ruin my camera with the welder, but I have them clamped on so that way they're tight. Clamps make this thing very heavy. But now I'm going to take these same pieces and I'm going to wrap them. Okay. I'm going to wrap them around so where I'll have three rings going around here and then have, that, eh, have those welded in place as well. Although I need to find more steel because I don't have quite enough. As per usual, usual, I'm short by like a small piece. Happens every time.
to those of you wondering why this is moving so much, it's because it's not bolted down. I've actually been borrowing this for like a while until I get my own, which I've yet to do. I should really look into that. Okay, now that I have all my rings welded on, I didn't film a lot of it because it's pretty boring. I essentially made them all the same and then just welded them into place. What I'm gonna do now is have them all marked out. I mostly eyeballed it because measuring is something I really hate doing. And since this is kind of a post-apocalyptic World War I, uh, you know, I needed a weapon improvised because I don't have anything better kind of weapon. I didn't figure it would look bad if they're a little off. But anyway, I'm gonna drill holes in all of these to put spikes in. So that way then I have three in the wood and I'm gonna weld four on all of these. That's still a little boring. So that way they're offset. So that way it's not like the ones you see where they just have like four, four spikes in a row and essentially you still have to have edge alignment for them to work well. This you don't really have to. I don't know, but I'll probably make these stick out a little farther, which ultimately will probably be the same length, but since this sticks up probably about three quarters, well not three quarters, but probably about, probably, almost, probably over a half inch from the bat, it'll be a little longer. But then I'm also gonna weld probably longer around the tip. No reason other than probably look really cool. drilled I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of my spikes or most of them I, I need one more nail I was one short I might have one around the shop here I just have to find it but anyway I'm gonna make the ones that go on the metal an inch and a half and these are gonna be two inches and then I'm just gonna make one for the top and I don't know how long it's gonna be it'll probably be a bit longer but it'll probably just be an extra piece that I have so uh, Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them, sharpen them in the, cut them and then sharpen them in the points, weld all of them on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and burn the wood before I uh, put the pin, or before I put these in, just so I don't burn the glue, because I want them to stay in. Uh, glue, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. I'll probably just use some rubber epoxy that I use for all my, uh, uh, well, I use them on my knife handles. It works well, so. Why, why eh, can't speak. Why, yeah. Okay, let me try this again. I'm gonna stick with that because, you know, it works. I know it works. It holds well. I'm just rambling right now. I, I should really get to work. spikes welded on the metal and before I put the rest of the spikes on I'm gonna burn this whole thing to give it a nice uh, battle worn look uh, you can already tell it's got let's see if I can get the camera to focus small burn marks from where it's welded I think that makes it look pretty cool already but I'm just gonna take the torch and do the whole thing Now that I have the wood uh, singed to perfection, I'm gonna take the rest of these spikes, 
put a little bit of epoxy in the holes and glue them into place. Not gonna lie, this thing already looks pretty nasty and already like double the original weight. But I think in, uh, it'll definitely win you the game. Damn, the thing is heavy with one hand. But I decided I can make it just a little scarier. So uh, let's wrap some barbed wire around it. And damn, I, I really need to paint my nails. That's better. Okay, now the barbed wire is already around it. I will say, if you don't have protective equipment, don't do that. Barbed wire is exceptionally nasty to work with and kind of does whatever, it's want, whatever it wants sometimes, so it can spring around very easily. So wrapping it, this was actually kind of a pain and it kept catching on my pants and my apron and gloves. And like I said, this stuff, if it you're not wearing gloves and it springs on you, these barbs can slice you open in a second. I have known people who've had some, a lot of very permanent damage from barbed wire fences. So I would say probably don't add the barbed wire. I mean, it, it, it's not gonna add anything to it besides the look, but yeah. But anyway, so that's how you make a baseball bat trench club mod. I'm pretty sure if anyone breaks in my house and I come with them with this, they're gonna piss themselves before they run away.